Hello, and welcome to this video demonstration showcasing how EdgeX can be used to manage USB cameras using the USB camera device service. In this video, we will take a USB Logitech C920 webcam and provision it onto EdgeX. The USB camera device service will allow us to control the webcam and export the stream to a universal RTSP server, giving the user and other microservices easy access to the video feed. In this demonstration, we will take the RTSP stream of the webcam and feed it into an inferencing microservice, allowing us to run classification models in real time all on the edge. Let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is clone the EdgeX Compose repository. We'll use this to run EdgeX as well as the USB device camera service. Once that's cloned, we can CD into the EdgeX Compose slash compose builder directory. And we can run EdgeX with the USB camera device service using the following command. We can double check that everything's running just using Docker PS. And everything looks good. So let's open up the EdgeX UI, which is served on port 4000. As you can see, we already have two devices provisioned. This means that the device service has already automatically detected that we have two cameras hooked up onto the machine. For the sake of this video demonstration, we're going to delete these and use curl commands to add a webcam. So the first thing we'll do is head back to the terminal and we'll manually find all of the available cameras on our system using the following command. As you can see here, we have a HD Pro webcam C920 and also an integrated webcam built into the laptop. In this demonstration, we'll use the C920. To provision the webcam, the following curl command is used, ensuring that the path is the desired path of the camera we want to use. Now let's head back over to the EdgeX UI to see if the device has been provisioned. And as you can see, we have added a USB camera device. Now that the camera has been provisioned, we can start the stream of the camera, which will give us access to a live feed via RTSP using the following command. As you can see, we can change the input image size and also the output video quality. Let's send the command through, ensuring that we get a success code of 200. Okay, so now that the stream is running, let's try and retrieve the outputted RTSP URI. So we'll need to head back to the EdgeX console and head over to the stream URI command name. Let's hit try. And as you can see, we have been given a response to the URI of the webcam stream. We can view the stream using a command line tool called ffplay. And there you go, we have a live feed straight from the webcam being outputted as an RTSP stream. For the sake of this demonstration, I've just pointed the webcam to a monitor, which is showcasing some stock footage of CCTV. For this next part of the video, we will try and use the resulting RTSP stream URI of the webcam and incorporate it to a microservice. In this demonstration, we'll use the Intel's Edge Video Analytics microservice. You can download and configure it from this web page, which gives you instructions on how to install it correctly. However, there are some things we'll need to change. Follow all of the instructions up until step two, part three. From here, we'll need to change a few of the files. So let's head over to where you downloaded the microservice head into the Edge Video Analytics Resources folder. And let's open up the docker compose.yaml. So there's two main things we need to change here. The first thing is we need to make sure that the network we'll be using is the EdgeX network. Change this for both the broker and also the video analytics microservice. And of course, the network section. Make sure that the external flag is set to true 
This means it will hook onto the existing EdgeX network rather than creating a new one. The next thing we'll need to do is change the RTSP port to 1554, as this video analytics microservice creates its own RTSP server, which will conflict with the one created by the USB device service. With those changes made, we can start the microservice. So let's open up a terminal and just do sudo docker compose up. As you can see, everything seems to be running correctly. So let's try and create a pipeline using the stream URI from EdgeX. We can use the example curl command found in the Intel documentation, which allows us to create pipelines. So let's change system IP address to the host IP address of the our machine. We can use ifconfig to find that. And let's change the URI to this RTSP stream URI of the webcam, which again can be found from the EdgeX console. Make a note that we'll have to replace localhost with the IP address of the USB-C device service. So we can find that by using Docker PS, find a USB camera device service, and then doing a Docker inspect. And there it is. So let's place that in and hit enter. As you can see from the Intel microservice, the pipeline is running and we have been given an RTSP output. So let's view the stream again using ffplay. And here we go, we have real-time video inferencing happening on our webcam stream that is being served from EdgeX to our microservice and back to us. Thanks for watching. If you wish to learn more about the USB camera device service and the EdgeX Foundry in general, please head over to edgexfoundry.org.